and Chris Ockley here at the 2015 NCAA uh, Division One Outdoor Track and Field Championships with uh, Bryce Miller, the uh, UMKC sophomore and uh, Wisconsin native, and after his uh, 14th place finish yesterday in the uh, in the men's steeplechase and uh, capped off a great season yesterday after he won the WAC title and uh, got that last qualifying spot at prelims uh, a couple weeks ago to make it to your first NCAA meet. Um, what was the goal? What was the mindset coming in? Uh, well, I just kind of went with coach's game plan, you know, try to try to put myself in a good position to kind of hang with the, the top five pack in my race. So I just kind of like to look for the gaps in the race and just put myself in a good position, I guess. Yeah, and you you weren't unfamiliar with the track, obviously, as you no, were here yeah, last year for time, so. for World Juniors, and uh, and we'll talk about that more here in a second. But yeah, it seems like about halfway through the race there was a big gap, and you uh, you you were kind of in the middle of the two the two packs and, and trying to hang on as much and uh, finished I think six in your heat and then had to sweat it out. But tell me how the race uh, played out for you though. Um, well, like I said, just trying to just trying to hang on to the gaps, um, staying kind of clustered most of the race. And then I think like halfway through, that's when uh, those top five guys kind of broke away. I knew I kind of had to get on their tails. And yeah. With about a lap and a half to go, they kind of broke away. And I was pretty tired just having to kind of grind until the end. So. How tough was it being all by yourself, looking around? It was a little tough the last like lap and a half, like I said, but it was fun. I felt pretty good. Yeah. Definitely one of my best races. So. Had a strong finish, 844. Would you say that was a five or six second PR? Yeah, that was a six second PR. Okay. Yeah, Boy, the, then you had to sweat it out and watch the next race. What was that like? Uh, exactly. Yeah, I was over here by the flags just watching that race. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully I would get in, but, you know, it was a second off, so. Well, I thought you were going to get in, and then those guys really had a big last lap to yeah, uh, put it yeah. away. I thought, um, yeah, the first couple laps, I was like, you know what, I might this is, you know, yeah. get in, but in the last couple laps, I started to kick it down. So. Right, right. So how disappointing was that? You know, I was, I was kind of disappointed right after, but, you know, I, I got a PR out of it. Right. I know that I can get into most of the races next year, like Stanford. You know, sure. Some other big races out west. So right. Eight, excited about that. Eight forty four for a sophomore is fantastic. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, and uh, so, what do you take away from this experience? What did you learn, or what are you going to take forward to go? Uh, honestly, you know, I learned learned something new every steeplechase. You know, uh, especially being out here at Hayward Field, competing against some of the best in the nation. I always, I always learn a little bit, a little bit in each area. So. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what's up next for you? Just just uh, relax for a little bit, a yeah, couple gonna, weeks, I'm and then take two weeks off, and then we're gonna build a base for cross country. And okay. Hopefully, win a WAC championship with the team, and then uh, probably shoot for nationals for cross country, and then you know work on uh, doing good indoor and outdoor also. So. What's it like being a part of this young uh, UMKC uh, program that's really building it's under awesome. Coach it's, Butler? It's it's awesome. You know, we're uh, we're a young team, but we're building. We're getting some good recruits. Uh, you know, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be a team to rec be reckoned with in our region, and yeah. definitely win a whack title, hopefully. Yeah. Well, Bryce, congratulations on the great race and uh, great season, and uh, keep it up, and we'll see you in the fall. Yeah, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. All right, it. thanks.